What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Orthexia and welcome back today to Ark Survival. Yes, welcome back once again. So, in last episode, let's just say things didn't go quite to plan. Um, basically, if you missed that episode, I'll sum it up very, very quickly. We spent ages trying to get penguins to breed and when they actually dropped an incubated egg, I accidentally ate it. Poop Master 5000, what are you doing? <laughs> You're supposed to be pooping over there, I made you- oh. I must have made him follow me. Um, so yeah, anyway, I, I, I ate the incubated egg by accident and things did not go to plan. But the good news is I've got my little breeding shack. I'm going to call this the love shack. And um, Jesse is on the... Stop showing me your butt. What are you doing? Um, so yeah, the cool thing is we actually got an egg to hatch with these guys. I caught a couple of different penguins here. Two males and two females. The only problem is, obviously we have Think in here. Remember, we named two Think and Noodles. I have no idea where Noodles has gone. Um, I was sailing back in my raft, and he might have fell off or something. He's not dead, I just he's just somewhere, which is a bit weird. But yeah, it's actually, this is an incubated egg, and I believe, if I can actually get a look at it, come on, yes, there we go, there we go, there we go, ha ha ha, egg is incubating. So it seems to be the right temperature inside here. I did actually make an air conditioner, and yeah, ignore my wires and stuff, I didn't really know what I was doing. <laughs> but I have a generator and an air conditioner, um... Which does work and stuff, but to be honest, I don't really I don't really see why we need it right now if it's incubating at this temperature. So it might be more useful for other things, but, you know, even without it, it seems to be doing fine. So yeah, obviously, this is just like a little test as to the first sort of incubation style thing, because I've not done any breeding whatsoever just yet. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty sweet. Master 5000, come here. Oh, you're so slow. Yes. Oh, what a graceful beast. Look at this. Yeah, you've got to be careful not to hit like mass follow around here, otherwise everything just runs up at you. Ah, there we go. Park you back up here. Ah, there we go. So weirdly, I, I don't know if I've done this wrong, but nothing is turning into to compost. This structure will slowly convert thatch and poop into high quality compost. I have thatch. I have poop. And it's not doing anything. Um, so I don't know if it just takes a really long time or if I'm doing it wrong. I might be doing it wrong. It's been known to happen before. But it will be good to kind of get the um, the crops going because then I can start to make some kibble. And with kibble, we can start like easily taming some much higher level dinos. So today, huh, kind of curious as what we want to do. I'm sort of waiting around for the little babby to hatch, uh, which is going to be... I don't know how long it's going to take, though. That's the thing. Um, because... I guess, if we have a look at this egg, it's pretty slow. To be honest with you, it's pretty slow. Um, yeah. It may take some time. It might take... Oi! What are you doing? Oi! Come here. Oi. Back. Get back in your hut. <laughs> come on. Get back into the love shack. No, don't... Oh, penguins. Why are you so disobedient? Get... No. Get... Oh. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. No, what are you doing? <sighs> See, ooh, one thing I do really want to do today, actually, is go and try and explore an underwater cave, because we are yet to have gone into one, uh, yet to go into one, and I kind of really want to... I don't think you can get in because of the door. That's really annoying. You know how annoying you are? You're very annoying. You know what? Fine. You're going to stay there for now. No, don't, 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 don't go anywhere. Just stay. Just stay. Just behave yourself. Everyone will be happier then. Jesse. Jesse. Oh, man, I always forget these buttons for, like, whistle one person. Um, what is it, what is it, what is it, what is it, what is it? Uh, whistle all, whistle, attack this target. No, we don't want that. Whistle, you follow me. It's T. Ah. Yeah, so I was kind of toying with the idea of maybe, like, trying to catch um, a decent high-level dolphin or maybe try and get a decent high-level shark. Uh, the whole idea is just so I can kind of get underwater and it's not going to run out of stamina. I think stamina is going to be the main one. Um, so I'm not 100% sure which one will have the better slash worse stamina right now. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm actually going to go and take a trip quickly over to um, Death Island over here. <laughs> which is just the most dangerous place in the world. Because, oh, there's like the new fish that I'd love to be able to tame. The only problem is I've not really seen... I think, they, I think they're quite deep. Uh, but those would be awesome if I could find them. The, the thing is, I just... Ah, I don't know. 
I also maybe want to look at to making some of the um, the water breathing stew or the food or whatever, because that's really going to help us if we are uh, going to go underwater for a long period of time. See, the thing is, apparently these water caves, they're supposed to have like bubbles coming out of them so you can tell where they are. I think there's probably going to be one about here. But as I said, I've never ever actually done it before. Well, see, anyway, whilst we take a little trip to Death Island, I'm kind of looking for some T-Rex and seeing what's over here. Um, but yeah, the good news is, I mentioned a couple of episodes ago that we are going to be doing a new song, and then I kind of mentioned the topic of this song and why it may potentially be kind of a bit different. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you want to if you want to hear about that, then two episodes ago, that's when I talk about it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for your awesome response. Uh, as always, you guys totally get where I'm coming from with this and uh, yeah that means an awful lot to me actually it really really does so the good news is I've actually found an animator and he is currently animating the video for that um so I have no release date as of yet but I think you're gonna like it it's a really catchy song and it's nothing negative and there's no like you know names mentioned and stuff but what is that purple thing ah is that just oh it's just like a glitch oh. if I remember correctly though I think there's a what is that? Did you see <laughs> this weird purple thing, like, floating there for a second? Uh, but yeah, I think this was a pretty decent high-level T-Rex, actually. Uh, yeah, this one. Um, oh, did I put my thingamajig away? Yeah, I did. So my spyglass, uh, we'll put that in five. Okay, so yeah, this is a pretty high-level T-Rex. I've been keeping my eye on this, level 57, which is pretty good for around where we are. And I think it's going to be quite powerful. The problem is, I probably want to use Kibble in order to detain this guy, because... Um, prime meat might take a while. Although the thing is, there's so much prime meat on this island, it might not be that much of an issue. Hmm. I don't know. Let's think about that one. Let's think about that one for a little while. Uh, but yeah, dolphins. I think... What the heck is going on here? What is that? Oh, it's Nyan Tavis. Man, things are so aggressive around here. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of hoping that the new, like, super dino would be spawning on this island. Get out the way, Jesse. Come on. But uh, it's not. I haven't seen one yet. So maybe we'll go and have a look at those if we can find one. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so yeah, anyway, what I'm going to do is I am going to have a little fly around and hopefully be able to find a good dolphin. Um, tame it, and then we can take it from there. So wish me luck. I'll do my best. I'll see what I can find. And uh, yeah, meet you guys back in a sec. Okie dokie, so welcome back everyone. Not gonna lie, it's all gone wrong. <sighs> so I've got penguins wandering around everywhere. I left the door open, it was a shambles. Um, but <laughs> two of them are still in there, of course. You're trying to get in, but for some reason you don't want to. Um, yeah, the egg, unfortunately, the egg health has gone down loads. And I think it's because I didn't have the AC on um, to keep it at a constant temperature, I think. The fluctuation in temperature harms the egg health because it's nice and close to this. Apparently, the incubation uh, temperature for an egg of this species is between, I think it's 22 and 30. So um, it stayed like 24 in here, 24 degrees. But the egg is like not really halfway done and it's already really low health. So chances are that's probably not going to work. But oh well, uh, I'll keep the I'll keep the AC running. I did actually make some more oil, uh, some more gasoline even, so uh, who knows. We'll probably play around with that a little bit more, but yeah. Anyway, so what I wanted to do, the main thing that I wanted to do today really was to go and do some diving and try and find one of these underwater caves. There's a penguin in here, what are you doing in here? I have no idea. You're so disobedient. <sighs> uh, but what are you doing? Oi, get out. <laughs> it looks like I've got like a wall-mounted head or something. Oh, you're so creepy. Why you be creeping on me, hmm? Rufus, Rufus. All right, fine. Um, see, so yeah, I'm actually cooking up some meat here because we're gonna have a crack at making some Lazarus chowder, uh, which is something I've never done before. So it involves uh, long grass, it involves sava root. I need a water skin, which I have up here. Uh, I've only got one left though. I don't know where the rest of them went. I think I lost them. Oh well. Uh, and I need some mayo berries and some narcotics. So. The trusty... Where are you? Where have you gone? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Me woolly mammoth. Um, apparently, they're going to be adding, like, woolly rhinos into the game soon. I'm quite excited about that. Uh, we need some mayo berries, and we need some narcotic. I think I've got some narcotic cooking, uh, and we're going to make some Lazarus chowder, which should help us, uh, like, breathe underwater. I think it 
that makes us breathe like 6.66 times more efficiently, which is pretty sweet. So uh, let's put our ingredients in here. Savaru, long grass, maya berries, water skin, narcotic. Did I miss anything? Cooked meat. Yes, there we go. And light fire. Hopefully this is going to do it. Uh, I would ideally get two of them, but will I have enough? I've got enough Savaroot and Longgrass. Got enough Narcotic, got enough Mayo Berries. The Water Skin might be an issue, but we should have enough to make two. Hopefully. So I've never made this before. I don't really know. <clears throat> oh, God. Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, but yeah. So I've got that, and I've also... I didn't actually manage to find a Dolphin, but I've got a much higher level Shark. Um, I did... Oh, well, that's not a lie. I did find a dolphin. I'm going to be honest with you, it was level 6, so I ate it um, for some experience because I boosted up the stamina on the shark a bit. It's still not the ideal option, and unfortunately I can't get the diving gear yet because I'm not level 75, but it will kind of do the job, I think. Um, so I'm wondering. Cook me your fabled stews. Come on. Yes. Cooking. Mm. But yeah, I'm not too sure about these eggs. I think I probably should have left the AC on, or maybe I need another AC unit, or... Yeah, I'll look into it properly. To be, to be honest, I didn't really look into it that well at all. Um, but yeah, the egg health is a bit disappointing. It hasn't really moved since I put the generator on, though. And this AC unit. So, to be honest, it's probably doing the job. But I guess we'll come back to it. I think it takes about an hour and a half to actually hatch an egg. You stay in there. <sighs> Stop pooping everywhere. Why? <sighs> they just come into your house. They poop everywhere. And we'll just, for the sheer sake of it, let's bump up your melee damage. Because why not? Um, hmm. I kind of want to get like a little penguin army and then try and attack stuff with it. I think most of them will probably die, but it'd be quite fun. Uh, anyway, so have we cooked some of this bad boy stuff? Yes! Nice! This is our first. So this creamy dish improves the body's natural constitution. Consume it to slowly regenerate oxygen, con uh, oxygen consumption while underwater and gain extra health regen. Last 15 minutes. So that is pretty sweet, I've got to say. Um, so we've got one of those. I'm going to cook another one of those. And then my water skin's actually empty. So, yeah, I'm going to meet you guys back down by the water. Okie dokie. So, if my reckoning, well, reckoning is correct, there should be one kind of out in this direction. But, yeah, this is my new shark. My Megalodon level 79. So it's not the highest thing in the world. But, you know what? It's pretty good to me. He does a good job. So, anyway, let's give this a go. Uh, we've, eaten a, we've eaten a chowder. Chowder enabled. So I should have good uh, water breathing now, should I? Hopefully. And let's have a little scout around. So I don't really know how deep I'm supposed to go. Um, but yeah, apparently there's supposed to be something around here anyway. Um, so I'm going to take it easy on the stamina. I'm going to look for bubbles. Oh! Oh, look at that! That is so cool! No, it's not cool anymore. It's not cool anymore. Oh, God. What is that thing? Oh, I've run out of stamina. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Swim! Swim like you've never swam before. Do you think I could beach one of these? No, I think they stay deep, don't they? Oh, as if the cave would be right next to those guys. So that's the new water, crazy, cool, massive, swimmy thing. Um, and I'm going to be honest, it's kind of in the way. <laughs> uh, we don't really want to tangle with one of those guys, nor do we want it to kill our shark when we are down here. But ooh, this looks promising. This looks promising. Anything? Where are these underwater caves, man? So I've never seen one of these before, so I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just kind of guessing. Oh, 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 no. Oh, these are the new fish as well. Oh, everything's so horrible down here. Everything's attacking me. No, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Let me find your cave, please. This is really not going to plan, is it? This is not going to plan. Oh, don't freeze now. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Well, on the plus side, I have a ton of water breathing, which is awesome. There's sharks down here as well. Oh man, even if we don't find this cave, I think it's a pretty cool place to visit, because we've not been down here yet, so it looks really pretty, I've got to say. Really. Oh! oh! I see bubbles. I see bubbles. I see bubbles. No, go away, go away, go away. Is this the cave? Oh, this is the cave! This is the cave! Get in there, get in there! Yes! And boop! Swim! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, we found one! Da da da! <laughs> Look at that! Oh man, that's epic. That is so cool. Right, well here we are. So, to be honest, I think these caves were much like more useful back in the day when you couldn't get oil on land. 
because obviously you've got these oil pods and stuff. But the reason why I wanted to come here is because of these guys. Uh, and I don't know which one is the best way of harvesting. Why can't I harvest you? What? What? Oops. What? What is this sorcery? Why can't I? Oh, do I just pick you? Oh, I just picked them up, of course. There we go. Boom! Yes, there we go. Oops. So yeah, I can pick up loads and loads of silica pearls. This is going to be useful for, like, components for more electronics and stuff. Um, which is, hang on one sec. Ow, ow, ow. Just sitting on my legs. Um, but yeah, this is, this is really cool. So this is the first underwater cave that we've ever found. I'm wondering if these things actually respawn. I imagine that they probably do. We're going to take all the silica pearls. All the silica pearls in the world. Yes, yes, yes. This is amazing. And uh, yeah, you saw one of those fish. Like with the um, with the thing on them, like the the weird like light eye. I'd love to get one of those, but I don't know how hard it's gonna be. <laughs> Look at you! <laughs> oh, what a happy sausage! Um, but yeah, I don't really know how hard it's gonna be because it's underwater, and I beautifully forgot to make any trank arrows because you can't fire the guns underwater. Uh, and yeah, I think they're gonna stay. I think they're gonna stay deep, aren't they? They're not gonna want to really come up to the surface, which is a bit of a shame. But yeah, you can get crystals here. To be honest, you can get crystals like on ground anyway, so I'm not too fussed about the crystals, but Silica Pearls got two nice fat stacks of Silica Pearls, so totally worth the trip. And uh, yeah, Megalodon over here has a level up, so let's actually put more stamina on you. Have you picked up anything cool? Not really, a bit of prime meat, some hats, some narco arrows would be useful. Um, so yeah, anyway, this is our first ever uh, underwater cave, so pretty cool. I think there's quite a few of these. What I want to do is I want to actually come back at a later date and see if the uh, shells respawn themselves, because that would be awesome, but we'll see. Anyway, whilst we're down here and we've still got our stew, let's go and investigate these guys, because they're so cool. Did you s What's the one? If I can get one close to here, I might be able to tame it, actually. There's a big old shark coming for me. Great, great news. Um, yeah, let's see if we can find one of those guys again. I've got a shark following me. Um, I don't really have to worry about water breathing, to be honest. I think we're pretty, pretty good. But yeah, these fish are amazing. I can't quite remember the name of them. If I if I see one, I'll, I'll get me telescope on it. Uh... That shark still following me? No. You're cold. You should find some warmth. Uh, more sharks. Anything here? There's a lot of sharks. There's a dolphin. Another shark. Maybe I'm a little bit too deep for them. They are like bottom dwelling things though. Thing is, without scuba gear, it's oh, it going to be pretty tough. To be honest, I feel like it's going to be pretty tough anyway. Hmm. I want to find those big dudes again. Those are really cool. Oh my god, I've got a proper little posse. I think the the dolphins follow me, don't they? Well, everything's following me now. <laughs> okay, let's um, let's change to maybe a different direction. Let's go this way. I've got plenty of um, I've got plenty of air left, so this is cool. Yeah, I love this place. There's more over here. I wish I could pick them up with me. Can I, like, bite them and, and he'll pick them up? No, he doesn't harvest anything. It's a shame. Oh, well. Okay, so... Are we seeing anything cool? Are we seeing anything cool? A little dolphin? Oh, man. Come on. Yes, there we go. Huh. Okay, so I was... I wonder where all those cool... Cool creatures went. They were here one second and then they're just gone the next, so... I don't really know, but at least we know that they're kind of at this depth, and they're probably going to be pretty tough to get. But anyway, <laughs> let's actually head back up to the surface before we drown or anything. I think we've actually got quite a lot of time. This, this Lazarus Chowder is awesome. But okay, anyway, so we've got loads and loads of silica pearls. Uh, let's go and head back to the base, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Okie dokie, so welcome back everyone. Uh, yeah, back at base. Um, so I've been here for a little bit. The sky has turned a very nice colour of orange. Very, very nice. Um, but what we're going to do is I thought in the meantime, um, so I just nipped and I've got some more obsidian from the rocks and stuff over on that side. And to be honest, our egg is actually doing really well now. We've turned the AC on, so the health hasn't actually dropped too much and the incubation time 
is probably like a little bit left so I think what we'll do is we'll see this guy hatch hopefully at the end of the episode but before we do that I thought you know what because we've kind of got a bit of time to kill I've kind of wanted to make the assault rifle for ages so went and got some more obsidian so I've made some more polymer um, and now I need to actually make some bullets so I've got uh, some more flint steel blah, 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 so I can make spark powder and then spark powder into uh, whatever for gunpowder so I'll leave that going on like so. Um, let's have a little look, see how this is getting on. So I left this running. Has it finished making all of my polymer? Yeah, 46. We can make some more. Ah, I'm out of cementing paste. Damn. No more cementing paste. And the problem is my frogs are dead. They are of the dead. And I've forgotten how to make cementing paste. I think we make it in here, don't we? Uh, chitin and stone. You know what? I think we actually have some of that. Not much, but... Yeah, we're going to need way more than that. As if we need stones. Who runs out of stones? Ugh. Got any more stones? We've got some more kind. I've got loads of kind there. Awesome. So I suppose we could just run and get some more stones. Not a big deal. But I would have expected to have some. Oh, I think I know where there's some, actually. Um, I think there's some in my... Any in here? No. Oh, there's some cementing paste in there. I'll grab that. What do I do with all the stones? Where are you, you mythical stones? Is there any in here for some reason? No. Huh. Interesting. Oh, well, so I'm going to have to go and get some more stones, but not a big deal. Um, let's actually make some more cementing paste whilst we're here. No, we can't because we've got no thingamajig, but we'll make some gunpowder, so there we go. Uh, yeah, right, I'm going to grab some more stones, uh, make some bullets, and then, uh, yeah, we'll make the gun. Right, so I think we are good. You know, the good thing about this location, I've never mentioned it before, you get loads and loads of fish in this little pool, and it basically just works like a meat farm. So you just go in there with your sword or your spear, you stab, 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 and you get like 100 meat off like five or six fish, So and they just keep regenerating, it's amazing. So this is a, that was an unintentional thing, which is pretty awesome. But anyway, I think we're actually now ready to make this. I think I've got everything I need. So ooh, I've got some more cementing paste here. Yes! And we can do it. Boom! So this is really expensive, actually. A lot of obsidian for the polymer. A decent amount of metal ingots, not too many, but a lot of cementing paste as well, especially if all your frogs are dead. So we're going to have to probably get a new frog at some point. But this is a new one. I've never crafted one of these before. So boom! Whoa, loads of XP. Holy mother, look at that. Nice. Nice. Okay, so what we can do is we can make some bullets as well. How many can we make? Ten bullets. Okay, let's make those bad boys. Oh, no, only five. Damn. No, we can make ten. We can make ten. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. And I think we're good. Sweet. So let's go and double check. What I want to do is I actually want to try and see what kind of damage we can get out of these guys. And also, we actually have some simple rifle ones. So I'm going to compare it to the rifle and see which one is better. Chances are it's probably the more expensive one, but we might as well give it a go, right? Um, so let's go and double check on this egg. Uh, really close now. Really, really close. Awesome. All right. Oh, come on. Door. Ah, right. Woody, where are you? You're my test subject. Okay. So let's shoot you in the leg with one of these. All right. Pop it and lock it. And boom. Okay. So that is... What's that damage? Uh, pretty good. So that went to 720 from 850. Okay, pretty decent. But that's the rifle. So that's good. That's good. Uh, what we'll do is we'll we'll feed you up. So that went down to 720. Uh, let's wait for you to heal up and then we'll try this bad boy. Oh, it looks amazing. So cool. Oh, it's got like proper sights on it and everything. What do I look like? A badass. That's what I look like. Holy mother. Okay. So are you healed up yet? Yeah. Heal. Come on, heal, you beast. Ah, one sec. Okay, there we go. Nearly finished. So I think um, the rifle one did 130 damage, right? Let's see what the uh, this one does. Oh, feels amazing to use. And that goes down to... Oh, not as much. Oh, that did like 30 as opposed to 130. But this is, like, obviously a quick-fire thing, so you can fire lots of bullets. But it's so expensive. Why? 
I think I prefer the rifle, you know. That's a little bit disappointing. So, I mean, I, I can always make more bullets, but... Yeah, you can fire them much quicker, I guess. But even so, I think the one shot with a... Um, with one of these bad boys is much more fun. The reload time is the issue, though, I guess, but... Huh. That's so much more satisfying. Oh, that's a little bit disappointing, actually. I would have thought it would do more than 30 per bullet, but... Hmm. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so what we can do is... The final thing, just to basically wait for this guy to hatch. Um, probably pretty close by now, so I'll keep an eye on it. Uh, I'll get some food ready. So, uh, yeah, I'll go and harvest myself some sweet, sweet meats from my little meat pond here. And, uh, yeah, we'll see a little babby. Oh, there it is! <laughs> yes! Oh, look! Look at that! Yes, we've done our first little babby! Oh, I'm so excited. I'll just name you that. Look at you. Oh, you are amazing. So, uh, yeah, there we go. This is our first ever little hatchling. He's so sweet. So what I understand you do is you basically, you feed them until they're juvenile. And then once they're, once they're juvenile, they can actually feed feed from like a food trough here. So, oh, that looks horrible. Dude, what am I feeding these guys? Yeah, I've got loads and loads of food in here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to nurse this little guy. Oh, he's so cute. Well done, guys. Well done. Um, so, yeah, I think that took, God, I think, like, two hours or something ridiculous. Uh, there's just a random egg here. This is just a standard egg, I think, uh, which I will take for kibble. Um, but, yeah, there we go. So, this is our first ever little hatchling. So, really, really cute. I like him a lot. He's eating food pretty fast. Um, so, yeah, we basically got to keep an eye on him, keep him topped up with food. And, uh, yeah, basically, he will grow up to be a little penguin. Ah, <laughs> so I think we can actually turn off our aircon now. So yeah, the aircon works great, and at least we know now that we can actually breed in here, which is awesome news. Uh, but yeah, this is our little pingus. So yeah, thank you so so much for watching this episode of Ark. I think we're going to leave it here for today. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. So we've actually uh, did some underwater exploring, which is completely new to us, which is cool. Uh, we've done our first breed. We've done bits and pieces. We've made some weapons. And yeah, all in all, pretty good day's work. So yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, please remember to poke me in that like button before you leave. And if you're not yet subscribed, go for it, because we do Ark done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. See ya.